All right, hello everybody from Grand Junction, Colorado. My name is Joe, and I'm selling my Leprechaun Coachman 50th Anniversary Edition. It's a 2014. It has uh, 68,600 miles on it. Start running through the features real quick. It's got the nice wide mirrors, which do help out a lot. It also has these cameras on each fender. Uh, so that when you turn the blinker on, you can see where you're going. Got these nice LED floodlights down here, which really do come in handy when you're traveling around looking for a camping spot. Here's the other light right there. Uh, so we got our 4,000 watt or 4,000 watt uh, Cummins generator works beautifully it's not that loud it's not exactly quiet because it is a generator but it's not that loud I uh, got the storage area here for all your sewer and water and all that other kind of needs you might have over here we got the clean out the gas tank this is so you hook the water up and it flushes out your black tank this is your uh, uh, this is your water connection. This is your portable water. Oh, this is the flush, and this is sorry your cable connection. My bad. That's the flush. This, of course, is your clean out, black and gray. Got an outside shower. Works beautifully, especially when nobody else is around. Now here. The generator runs to this outlet here. So your 30 amp plug stays plugged into this outlet in this addition. Uh, that way when you get to your campground, you just pull this out and then you go plug it in at the campground or home or wherever you're at. But while you're traveling, you wanna make sure that's in. I made a mistake of, uh, well, I didn't make a mistake. I just didn't know that's how it was. And when I bought it, it wasn't plugged in. So I thought the generator was broke. Oh, it was just me being silly. Got a bike rack here. Uh, you can get like three or four bikes on there. Got this tow hitch, which I always tow around like my ATV and my trailer. You got both the big connection and the smaller connection. Of course, the ladder to get up there if you need to do anything. You got the reverse camera, which is great with that camera you can see what's going on right up to the edge of your bumper. So if you're in big city traffic, driving around, uh, it's really easy to move into the other lane. This is a, they call it a 600 gallon storage. Um, it's huge. That's a new water pump. And down here I keep like, that's for like firewood, starting it. And all those have that. They have some kind of storage down there and they have it's a plastic lining and it has uh some of them have like little drain holes in them so if you fill them up with ice or something it's got a light back here you can see it right over top of that um somebody else put these in but i think they're fishing poles i haven't used it much and then there's that little rack but you can modify this however you want you can put in a sliding heavy duty drawer however you want to do it LED brake lights, uh, all the marker lights work around the whole vehicle. This is again that that area, this is just another entrance, storage area. So you can see a table and a chair in there. And let me tell you, you can pack this thing full. You can get a lot of stuff in there. All right, what else do we got outside here? This is the refrigerator this is the heater uh, this is how you fill up your propane right here just hook it up to that yellow thing here turn the valve let the vape lock go up as soon as it starts spraying out a little bit then you shut it close it all down you're ready to go and this is the hot water heater it is uh, 
six gallons and it stays hot okay and i got a fancy uh door here you just do your code which is one two three four for now it's easy to change too hit the unlock button and you're ready to go here's the screen you just shut that slide that shut and you can have your screen door this has a shock over on it so you can leave it open it's not going to blow around in the wind uh, the awning is 16 feet. Let's go ahead and put that out. Oops, wrong way. I'm going to spray that when I get home. I didn't realize it was you know, a little funky. All right, that's your awning. This is your outside entertainment center. Just put that up and you grab this latch right here and let it sit and that's like your uh, put a little 20 inch TV in there and you can just sit out here and chill right. and of course that's for your stove vent right there again it's the 50th anniversary so um, I don't know exactly what makes it more special but I know this thing is fully loaded all right let's turn the power on in here so you can see what we're doing now this is before I slide it out and I want to show you um, that there's plenty of room in here without even sliding it out. Uh, let me go ahead and get some, get some light action going on in here. There's lights everywhere by the way. I'll go over that in a second. Oh yeah, this has a switch. Okay. So, like I said about the lights everywhere. You open these doors. And they got the automatic lights that come on. Did that one fall? Oh, here it is. You got to get rid right of in front of it when it's bright. So you open these. Hear that? It's possible that one might need a charge. There we go. Look at all the room in these things. That's one thing I was thoroughly impressed with. Okay. Here's for your shower um, access box here. You got a plug back here for when you're, you know, looking at your phone and it's dying. Here's this. Got these little reading lamps up here. And then over here, underneath here, you got your jack for your uh, TV and your plug. So you can mount a TV right here on the side. Um, I wouldn't do anything bigger than a 20. You shouldn't be watching TV anyways while you're out camping. Um, you got your digital thermostat here. I don't know why the furnace is on. Let me go ahead and shut that off. Okay. Um, in order to run an AC, you got to have the generator going. This is a control fan for uh, the Max Air that's up there. I'll show you the one in the front in a second. This is the bathroom. It's got the sliding glass door. Um, Everything works. What I like about these is this little stop button here. So when you're taking a shower, you just hit the stop button, uh, lather up, and then rinse off. That way you save on some water if you're not hooked up. That's me. Uh, the sink is really nice. The angle of the toilet is perfect. And uh, it's porcelain with the kick flush. Let me go ahead and turn on the water pump. Show you that all this works. And the heater's this easy. Get down lower so you can see. You just turn the water heater on. Listen. Boom. Got your hot water. And it heats up quick. This is the sink. I put this in. I love it. And it's got two modes. Spray off your dishes, whatever, etc. Turn that mode off. I put this in. I love it. It's got the LED lights. It's got the light in the oven. It's a nice big oven too. Full size pizza. You can cook a lot in here. A lot. And it works great. Uh, this is super simple to work. You just turn on your desired burner and hit the switch and the gas comes on. Air broke cadaver. Just shut it off. That was a little, that's off. All right, fan. Well, I gotta clean that thing. Okay, I will. 
uh, and light. I'm also uh, selling it with this, very convenient, and I can't use it in my house or anything else, so I'm gonna sell it with it. Here's the cupboards. I'm leaving these bars, I bought those. I'm also leaving the slide out lube, and it's, it's good for a lot of other things, but you gotta make sure you keep your tracks lubed if you want it functioning properly. You got heater vents throughout the whole place. I do believe there's one up here somewhere. Uh, and then also the AC is separate. So the AC is built into the ceiling and it's got several AC. I don't think there's one up in front, but this one is for up front. And then you got one here for the back and then you got one up there. That's all the AC. And then the heat comes out of everywhere in this place too. If I can find it. I know it's everywhere. Okay, so I didn't put the pop out yet. And that was on purpose, but let me finish with this. So much room in here. My wife and I were gone for two weeks once. Didn't have to buy a single thing. Huge freezer. Microwave's a little tricky. I don't know what's up with it, but you gotta get your finger up here and pull it open. Everything's gotta have its quirks, right? So you press the button and pull this thing here. There we go. Got the rotisserie pan. I'm trying to focus on the video and the pan. There we go. If I want all that to work in the AC and you're not hooked up at the site, you just come over here. You hit prime generator until that blue light comes on for about four seconds or so. Maybe five, maybe six. And then uh, just hit the start button and wait for it to start. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, and there it goes. Now when you do that, you can have this switch on or off. This is the main power, it kills everything in the RV. So when you're traveling or you're storing it, move it to off. Also, while it's plugged in at an RV park or at your home, you have it on off. Even when the generator is going, you have it on off. The only time you need this on is when you're freelance camping with no generator. So now that the generator is running, you got the microwave. Stop that. Stop. Uh, reset. There we go. Uh, you got the AC, which comes on rather quickly. You just go to cool. I right, set the 68. And then the AC will kick on. And uh, let me tell you, that AC works pretty good. Alright, let me just come over here and hit that button. It has a delayed turn off. Okay, let's uh, show. Got the DVD player. I'm not sure what size this is, but I, I do believe it's a 35 inch it could be bigger uh, this comes with it smart TV so it's got all the bells and whistles Netflix all that other kind of stuff you can also hotspot your phone to it if you're out in the middle of nowhere and watch movies anyways that this loft I believe is a queen-size bed in here it could be a double though I'll check the stats but I think it's a double. And then here's the vent. I always like to use the front one. I gotta clean that too, okay. Got this remote controller here. You can see it says speed out 80%. It's also got temperature controls. I can turn that down. Can you hear it? Goes down and you can auto it, which goes by temperature. Shut it off. But I like drawing the air out of the front of the camper. And if it's like warm outside but you don't want to run the AC, you just open up the shaded side. All right, let's get to the fun stuff then. Let's put the slide out. out. Now 
Now, once you do this a few times, you learn, you know, when to stop, but it'll also stop itself. And you'll see the lights come through at the top up here. See that light strip all the way? Then it makes like a, like it's getting tense noise. Okay. Now, let's show you the interior lights. By the way, I got all these remotes up here, which I just took the TV remote down. So I got the DVD, the TV, the outside LED, and the inside LED, and then of course the, the fan. Probably one of the best tools on this thing is that fan. Alright, so with the light, you just hit white or on. Sorry. And now it's on blue, but you can hit white. Oh, and when that happens, see there are the LED strips. So this connection here I need to tighten up a little bit. But once you tighten it up, there, there we go. Now it's struggling right now. Anyways, see? I just gotta tighten it up. It's got sticky back there, so I gotta mess with it a little bit. So anyways, once you get that running, I really love using these at night. No matter what color you use, you can go blue. Oh, this thing ain't, like you don't gotta point it at anything. It's a radio signal remote. So you can use it anywhere. So whatever color you're in the mood for, turn that on. When you open these cabinets, of course they light up. It's kind of bright outside. It's hard to tell. And that's also really convenient. Uh, let's see, underneath here is a whole bunch of storage. These drawers are super huge. One thing I've been really impressed with, for sure, is the storage in this place. I mean, there's storage everywhere. Every kind of storage you can think of. All those cabinets up there. You got this big closet right here. And you got your pantry. Hello, light. Where is it? Oh, I can in there. Got these big drawers here. Huge drawers. Never had an issue with storage. All right, so went over the, the bedroom, went over the bathroom. Um, let's just show you that everything works real quick. Okay. Brand new pump on this thing. Let's turn the shower on. Oh, you got the stop button up here. Okay, so when you're taking a shower, hit the stop button so you can lather up and then you keep going when you're ready. Okay, shut that off. Well, I gotta get this out of here too. Okay. Oh, then you got this cabinet down here where you keep your septic cleaner and your uh, essentials. And then you got your little closet. Comes in handy for your deodorant, makeup, all that other stuff. Towel hooks, of course. Um, that's about it in there. Got all that there. This is how you access your furnace utility, or some of it down here. Um, all the utilities are on this side, which is good because you can access everything from over here. Furnace, fridge, hot water heater, all that's over there. Underneath the bed, of course, is that big garage. Uh, got all this storage unit here. Oh, and underneath here is also storage unit. I don't know if I said that. I probably did. All right. Kids love it up here. It's also great for extra storage. You don't got kids. All right, let's shut this TV off. Shut these lights off. It's doing that thing again. I'll fix that. Come on. There you go, thank you. Shut this TV off. Alrighty. Also next to here you got more storage for like DVDs and stuff like that or whatever, whatever you want. I got dogs, small ones, but I put their leashes here. You can get creative with all different kinds of way of um, finding out how you want to live in here. Well, that's where it popped out. 
end this video here soon by starting off by bringing this in. I love how quiet it is. Like I said, you gotta just make sure your tracks are lubed, okay? You gotta do that like three or four times a year. It's not hard. You pop it out, you lube your traps. Um, oh, this is the cab. I put these curtains in here because it gives you a lot of privacy. See, that's a camera. Real time happening out there. Nothing. All right. Pretty standard up here, but it drives great. The thing drives like a beast. It's a Triton V10. It's gas, but it's got power. Trust me, it's got a lot of power. All right, so I'll show you how to shut this thing down. So see, I already have this to the off position. So if I hit the generator stop button, doo -doo -doo, where is it right here? Oh, wrong way. Watch the lights. Oh, they're already gone. Now, if you want, like, you gotta keep your battery going, turn that switch on while you're gone. That way your um, gases will ignite, like for your fridge and for your water heater, your furnace, all that stuff. Just make sure you shut all your power down so you don't drain your battery. Uh, but if you do happen to drain your battery, click that thing off, make sure all the lights are off, and then let wait five, 10 minutes, come and then turn that back on and then hit the generator start button and it should start, it's always started for me when that happened. All right, so that's about it. I mean, this thing is fully loaded. I've loved every minute of it. Oh, I gotta put that on here back in. I like to hold this door just to make sure it doesn't. Not supposed to grab, but I don't wanna find out. Uh, what else can I say about this thing? Cruise control, Garmin, navigation radio, hooks up to your phones and Bluetooth. Your battery storage is right here. Fuses, well, that's only the main stuff. The fuses are over here. It's your whole fuse box. Everything works fine. Don't have a problem with anything. There are speakers in here or something, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Because there was no radio in here. I think that's it. All right, so just look at the details on this site. You'll see the specs for everything. And uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call. Thank you. Let's just pan out here so you can see this sucker again. And we'll walk around it. Alright, you guys have a good one.